if you know how to put on a lens cap, you can take macro photographs. Let's go. Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here, professional photographer in Manhattan, New York City, USA since 1973. It's my pleasure to give you these free photography classes with my 50 plus years of experience. Hit the subscribe button right now before you forget. All right, what are we talking about today, guys? We're talking about taking macro photographs with something that goes on the front of your lens, just like a lens cap. What are we talking about, guys? We're talking about this. We're talking about a product from Newer, N-E-E, W E R. Guys, it's the newer LS40 Super Macro Snap On Macro Lens. I just got this just this morning, and all day I've been taking macro photographs like this. These photographs that you're looking at are the JPEGs, unedited. It's very rare that I don't post-process the photographs that I show you guys, but I'm so impressed with the output of this gorgeous all-glass, three-element, multi-coated accessory for your lens. This is what it is, guys. So this is a macro lens that basically snaps on using these springs. They just spring and grip the filter ring of your lens, just like that. Now, the lens that I put it on, I tried it on two lenses. Now, hold on. I tried it on this 55 millimeter Tacamaw lens. It's the uh, Super Tacamaw F2. 55 millimeter and it produced photographs like this. Now, I also put it on a 100 and 50 millimeter Super Tacamaw lens. This is the F4 150 millimeter Super Tacamaw lens. And it, it took macro photographs like this. Now, you're going to see all of the photographs at the very end of the video. Those are just little teaser photographs. Now, here is what this product is. This product will close and open on the front filtering, right? That's this part of your lens from 37 millimeter. So in other words, if your lens takes from 37 millimeters to 52 millimeters, the LS40 will work perfectly. Now, you could put this on a prime lens like this one, like this 150 millimeter prime, or this 55 millimeter prime, or you could put it on a zoom lens. Okay. Newer recommends using lenses from 40 millimeter on the low end up to 200 millimeters on the high end. That's where they recommend you stay in that sweet spot. 
That's why I used the 150 and the 55 millimeter. Okay, now I chose those two because the 55 is close to a 50, nifty 50. I feel everybody has that so you can see what the photographs will look like. Okay, so like I mentioned, this is multi-coated. You can see in the reflection that nice, beautiful, multi-colored coating. Okay, this accessory, which runs for about $50, is very sharp. I noticed no distortion and I noticed no vignetting. Okay, it's pretty light. It's only 81 grams. Now, um, the magnification that you get, in other words, how close you can get, depends on the lens that you use. In other words, this 150 millimeter Super Tacomar got in close. In other words, there was more magnification than the Super Tacomar 55 millimeter. But they still both did an excellent job. I would say even equivalent. So I would not worry so much on the millimeter of your lens. Just remember, stay within those parameters of uh, don't use a lens that's less than 40 millimeters and don't use a lens that's higher than 200. You might ask, how did I take all these photographs? Very simple. First, I put the macro snap on LS40 from newer. I put it on the front of the camera. I set the camera, in this case, the Leica SL, 24 megapixel, mirrorless, digital, full frame camera. Okay, I set it on aperture priority because I can uh, adjust the aperture with the aperture ring on both of these Super Tacomars have aperture rings. Now, generally, I shot it at around f2.8, but I did go as low as f16 and as wide as f2 on the 55, and I did go as wide as f4 on the 150 millimeter super tacomar lens okay uh now next question you might have what iso i shot pretty high i shot a 3200 iso why because as you know i do my macro 99 percent of the time handheld no tripod so i wanted a nice high shutter speed of around you know 250th of a second now you might you say might what say does the focusing ring do on the lens does it focus it not really what it does is you can kind of frame it. It zooms in a little drop back and forth. But the way you focus with, uh, with this setup is you go back and forth with your body. You know, you just go back and forth like a half an inch back and forth. And you'll see right in your viewfinder that it's sharp. I also use focus peaking. And focus peaking is where what's in focus will highlight either in red or in green. Here's a, a quick snapshot of what the, quote, the studio setup looked like. And as you see, right, I handheld the camera with the lens and the newer LS40 macro snap-on adapter, right? My lighting, in this case, was just one. Uh, these Elytra little LED lamps they they're rechargeable and i put on a little mini tripod and what was my background just a piece of felt that's all black felt red felt whatever you like whatever you choose it's not going to be seen it, it won't be seen in you know sharp but it'll just be a nice background pick whatever background you want so to show you what i did i just picked stuff randomly around the house any items i found around the house which is perfect for a rainy day indoor macro photography. So what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to put all of the specifications for this item, the newer Snap-on Macro uh, Lens LS40. I'll put all the specifications in the description. Don't forget to read the description below. Hit thumbs up, comment below, subscribe. Let's look at all the photos taken with this gorgeous newer macro snap-on lens, the LS40.